Hello people of the internet, welcome to a new video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called No One Has to Die, uh, which is most likely a lie because everybody's probably going to die by now. Um, I just loaded up the game and this is what I got. It's available in the game show. I'll leave a link in the description below, guys, when I check it out. I guess I should click on that. What the hell is up with this music? Urgent, the Phoenix Corporation headquarters security have been compromised. Has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Okay. It says press enter. Okay. Uh, temps engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services can contact it. ETA 3 hours 17 minutes. Is that like estimated time of arrival? Visitor has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello? Is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged on to... Okay. There's a fire! Everybody evacuate the building. Steve has logged on. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Wow, I absolutely love how you are so chill about this. Why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on. And Lionel. This is the CEO of Phoenix, okay? Telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff report in immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying dead, okay? You didn't have to say that twice, you freaking idiot. Uh, in the control room. Then I saw a warning on the screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them, and I lit the fire. What? Is this a joke? Who the hell are you? There's no time for this now, visitor. If you're in the control room, then you'll have to co coordinate us in, ex in escape, and you need one of the security codes. Security codes? Uh, the code is RFTS. Is this some kind of game? Key? Who is this guy? Like, he's chilling. He's so buffed as well. Okay. It worked. Now you might have a difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Oh, this is what it happens. Fire on 4v3. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates are Troy or Steve. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Our visitor is going to have to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. What are you getting at? Kill that. Okay, not that. Okay. My job here is done. I'm ready to die. The fire is growing, visitor. You will be led through how the system works. It better be help. It better be actually helpful. Water will come. Okay. But also drowns people. Fire cannot. Okay, so if I just like lock this, then move him, and then click this. To... And then I gotta turn off the fire, right? Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so lock him. Nope. Uh, okay. can't save the girl. What the hell? Oh, I'm such an idiot. You can you can turn them off. What am I doing with myself? There you go. That's how you do it. Okay, I got it. Phew, that was tense for a bit. Glad that's over. Don't be so glad, my guy. There are more choices coming up. How can you talk like that when someone just died? 
He had this coming. He tried to kill us. Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, ha ha. So you two, so you, you two know each other. Yep, me and Steve have had the unfortunate of working together for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you got to work in Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you two be looking for a way out? Yeah, exactly. I was about to say that. We're not all like you. We can walk in tight. Thank you very much. Wow. Roasted. Shots fired. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. Oh, same here. That's one way should we head up. Sure, why not? Why not? Why are you guys so casual about this? Okay, I'm hiding up now. Okay. Uh, what's your story? Me? I don't work here. I was just making a delivery. Wow. You guys got so lucky. Let me guess. Tires, pop of books. No st stationery. These were some strange guesses, though. What exactly do we do here? Guys, this is not the time for this. What do we do here, Leah? I know you got that message. Forget it, I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Phoenix Corporation actually does. Wow! The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and then sells it all for next to no profit. We're all, almost certain it's a front. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants it. That's different. How about you shut up while asking a serious question? I want to know about the pocket items. What the hell is that? Guys? For nearly a year, we'll be constantly getting in shipment of life by the time. Birds? Wait, what? No one knows what's going on. It's an animal rights issue. Whoa, that is weird. What's going on, Neil? We were buying, looking for a feed. Wait, what? I don't get it. You don't have to get it. They didn't even answer the question. Has anyone found any anything interesting on the second floor? Nope. Nothing much here. Most of this building is reserved for storage. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request only, Leonel. Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know what facilities this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. That's right, it's been in the nose for weeks that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business, nothing that could have encouraged arson. Well, that's kind of suspicious, isn't it? Oh no, here we go. Lionel and Steve, see, I told you don't we have to God damn it, not again. Oh no. I must request that you save me. Don't you dare, please save Steve. Weren't you guys just bickering just minutes ago? The two of them were bickering just minutes ago and now it's like... I don't know why... What the hell? It's a guy weird notification. Oh, never mind. That's not my notification. Anyway, I don't know why this fire was started, but you can... Okay. But Steve's done nothing wrong. It's great to hear you sticking up for... <coughs> Voice crack. Thick enough for me for once, Chris, but our visitor has already saved me once. Save me, you'll be welcome. I'm not, I don't care about compensation, okay? See? I don't care about the money. Okay, I am so sorry, but... I'm gonna have to save her. Save him. Uh, is this how this works? I think... Yeah, okay, now turn it off. There you go, I got the hang of it. Good. Now who's being insensitive? That was the lead of our, the head of our company, Chris. Are you chose over? Are you chose me over him, visitor? Dude, do you even English right now? Don't ask me to explain my choices. It makes me sick thinking about what I just had to do. Yeah, exactly. How do you think I feel? I didn't get a chance. What if I wanted to die to save Leona? Well, you didn't get a choice in the matter. I'm sorry. As if you would ever sacrifice yourself for anyone, and you would. 
No, but at least I'm upfront about it. Yeah, if you're just... If you're not gonna do something, just, you know, be honest with yourself. I don't know. The, this game is, like, questioning, like, my morals right now. Uh, okay, set of stairs heading up. I'm already on the next floor. That's a great story. Do you think we get paid over time for this crap? I don't know, barely matters though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before you start making jokes about the disease. That, that, that's a good, pretty good theory though. Hey, I could be right for all you know. The guy was whack. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Whoa, I've forgotten too. That's awful. Hey, it's better. it was better when you forgot. What can you find out about them? I guess I should probably search them, huh? I, I really don't want to, though. Uh, good luck. You must have a stronger stomach than me. Yeah, good thing you're not in here. And instead, you're about to die. Okay, I'll go look now. Back, I found a... Wow, that took a literal, a literal millisecond. Back, I found a blue file in the hands of one of them. Really? What does it say? It's the security code, the one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you so surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why should two people set up building on fire and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. I don't know if it's beneficial for him in the afterlife or, you know, for his, for his legacy. I don't get it. Why don't we ask him? Oh, whoops. No, it's not funny. Even I, like, I make jokes all the time, but even I, I make these kind of jokes in this situation. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris? You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. Eh, how wasn't that fast on talking to her anyway? You too. Oh god, here we go. No. Here we go. Here we go, Chris. I thought I was going to make it. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't you, you're not sacrificing yourself. You don't mean, you know I don't mean any of the crap I say, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to die to prove that. Good, then I'm ready. See if no and they should just stop playing sad music on a violin? No one deserves to die. Wow. Almost dropped the title of the game right there. Especially not you. You're not telling you're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. I'm spitting everywhere. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This is how I want things to go. Wait, what? Do you think I want to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry, you too. If I don't do something now, we'll both die. It's alright, I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Wow. You... I can't with him right now. I can't. Shut up. You're not going to die. Is he physically hurt? Promise me you'll save him. Promise me. Guys. What do I do? Well, from the little diagram at the beginning, it looks like we have multiple endings, so I can just always go back and, you know, try again. So, ah, this pains me, man. It really does. Uh, how do I do this now? Hold on, hold on. Guys, it is done. Steve is dead. He is gone. I'm so sorry, I had to choose. No. I'm so sorry. I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Troy and Leona and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the... No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his deal is. Was... Was... I set the fire, then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. What? 
the most innocent individual in the game. Christina, you know it really it wasn't really you, it was Troy. I am so in denial right now. If it was Troy, what was he trying to save us all? I don't know, no one does. This is how it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. That's not an excuse. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever was going on in this building forever. And I wanted to kill Lionel before we owned anyone's lives too. What did Lionel do? Him and his company, they killed my mother. What? What? My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here, she always just said experiments. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered the search, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got a call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us they were so sorry and that mom had died in an experiment. What? Sorry, my, my butt. Okay, they still won't tell them when they sent back her body. They sent back her body with her brain cut out? They cut her brain out so they could experiment on it. They killed my mother so they could look at her brain. Christina, I'm so sorry. What the hell is going on? I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me the job to shut me up. Yeah, I understand them. Since then, I've spent God knows how long trying to find out what they did to my mother, but I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read in the notices that Leona was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I had worked out the time perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I don't know what to say. Except call 911. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building and when I get out, I'll be arrested and I'll finally get what I deserve. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. To be honest, I still have no idea where I am. Most of the building is off limits normally. We take elevators. What a weird way to do things. It makes sense when you remember they're going to hide the skeletons in their closet. Yeah. Oh, they're, or in this case, the brains in their experiments. There is a blue file on the desk here. What's the point of that? Different code? Maybe this would let you lock more fire doors at a time. But if I had that earlier, oh, I don't even want to think about this, I'm going to keep moving. If I had that earlier, no one would have died. Hold on a sec, there's a big metal door I need to open. Alright? Okay, I'm through now. There's a sign here, it says Tempest Entrance. What's that? No clue, there's a door here though. It looks kind of strange, I'm going to go through. Sure, just tell me what you find. Signal lost. What? What, I'm coming to find you? Where are you going, my guy? Christina and... The mystery is not yet solved. We must explore all possibilities to find the truth. So we have to go back. Okay. Wow, look here. We have to go back and find uh, each ending. So, in this ending... Steve lives, and then in this ending, either Lionel or Troy lives. So, I think I can like, um, finish the entirety of the game in one setting, so I'll have, you know, I'm recording this kind of late, and I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to get a second video out to you guys, so this is an extra special long video, so, hold on one second. Okay, the save Steve in this one was pretty easy, you just lock the door. There you go. Let's see this ending. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. Hey, calm down. I had to make a decision. I don't expect you to be. I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. So shut up. This is all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still here, aren't you, Chris? If you're here, send me a message. You're just ignoring me again, right? Steve, I understand this must be impossible for you right now, but you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. Yeah! Sure, I'm gonna get out of here. 
but it's gonna turn out okay. Uh, but it's gonna turn out that this has all been some kind of sick trick. Stop! Oh my god, this one is even worse. This dude is in extreme denial right now. Alright, just a little further. Okay, another security code. Yeah, this one. Not a lot of use right now. Are you all gonna comment on that, Steve? I to what? Told me what? She's alive. What? What? What's going on? So there was a fire next to one of. So the one with the security code, when I saw it, I knew I had to read it. It was titled, The Phoenix Experiment. The one, okay. Just let me explain. So, I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. So, Phoenix Corp had an experiment planned where they were going to buy lots of poker tails and teach them to say a phrase. Why did you have to choose this type of bird that's, that's name is hard for me to say? But every time they had enough words for the experiment, they would just randomly decide to increase their sample size. All in all, they bought around 6 million cockatiels. They stopped buying them the day something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Weird. Maybe the world was sold to them know what's going on. I tried to mess with the experiment. Let me finish. Hey, calm down, chill. Man, Steve is on fire right now. I get it on fire. I made that on Accidentally, that wasn't like me being clever, actually clever. So they tagged this special cocktail that already knew the phrase and it taught the phrase to all the other, okay. Didn't end there, they threw some kind of machine, it was worse, and they all died, all of them except one. The one that knew the phrase was fine. I have no idea, the paper talks very little about the machine itself. Bizarre, but how does... This tell you Christina is alive. Yeah, that's what's important. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. So here's the thing. The phrase that the birds were taught, it was Christina lives. Are you sure you're feeling alright? Wait. Christina said that her mother had the same name as her. could mean anything, Steve. Come on, you need to keep in contact. No time to type. Just... No, keep talking. Wow. Chris, Christina's mom has the same name as her. Okay, yeah, I know. Just, just let me pass through to the other endings. Dang. Could that be what's related? I'm like making these connections right now. I'm being a detective. I'm being smart for once. Okay, guys. So back to Liana or Steve. We killed Steve. And that's the end of that. Let's see what's going on here. You've made the right decision. I'll make sure you won't regret it. I highly freaking doubt that. I'm sorry, Christina. I could only save one of them. Christina? Okay, that's alright. I don't expect you to talk to me after what I've done. How are you going to get out of here with one of us not playing along? Playing along? What kind of phrasing is that? I'm sure she's still trying to get out of here. She's just had a lot to deal with at the moment. Well, either way, I found the stairs. Christina, just so you know, I understand that this must be awful for you. I really am sorry. Don't beat yourself up about it, you did the right thing. No, I didn't. That's not the right thing. What? I have to kill both of them? That's why there wasn't another thing? Two casualties unavoidable? No, that means we're both going to die. It's over, we'll reach our end. So in the end, saving Steve was the better option. people like you. Okay, yeah, I get it. I, I killed your co-worker who you fought with a lot, but you know, actually, you actually care for him. But God, do you really need to use mean words like that? I'm not like Neil, you know. There's nothing you could have done. You could have done. Yeah, that's exactly what I could have done. Say, I hope you burn you both for a minute. 
don't do this. Don't waste your final moments like this. So, I literally cannot save either of them. If I locked it, okay, let's just kill them both, I guess. What if this is like a trick and I can actually save one of them? Wait, let me see. Nah. Yeah, that a bad end is a freaking understatement. Okay, that was that, I guess. Now we gotta save Troy. Like that. Oh no. This is not gonna end well for me. Why? Why save me? My thoughts exactly. Why did you leave Steve to die? I could only save one of them and Troy knew the security code. He's the reason I could save anyone. We need to know what else he knows. Yes! Ah, now we're thinking. I'm not going to do anything to save anyone from here on in. Tell me now, how did you know the security code? Visitor, check the bodies of those two security guards. It's all coming together now. This better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. Well, that explains that. What did you find? One of the guards was holding... Yeah. They were? Yes. When I killed them, he says that so casually. So I, okay, you're welcome. Wow, why did you do this? Instead of asking all these questions, why don't you look for a way out? We can do the questioning later at the police station. There should be a staircase in a room near both of you. Hmm, you're right. I'm heading up now. Fine, me too. So while we're healing, you know, could you tell me what the hell? Okay. He's not going to tell you anything. Maybe you would like to explain that? There's nothing to explain. That's a lie and you know it. You both work here. Shouldn't you know what the company does? That's not true. That, that does not... Even if even if it's even the case in real life, okay? You think... Okay, yeah, we... Like what? Okay, we didn't get the answer. Wait. Why does... Why is Troy the one saying who the candidates are? Don't worry just yet. It's, not, it's your mother's, correct? Yeah. One casualty unavoidable. Okay. I lit the fire. I know everything. No, that answer is not good enough. Could we do this later? There is no later. Tell me now. Christina, this is not the time for this. Okay, how do I do this now? What? Oh my god. I'm gonna keep Troy alive for now. I'm gonna keep him alive for now to find out what he's up to. Not again. You don't sound too happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. Visitor, tell me, what would it take to, to get you to kill me? You can't ask someone something like that. Well, for someone like Troy, that's completely normal, I'd imagine. Of course I'm goddamn mad. We're going to have to choose between sit. okay. You deserve to live. Of course it matters. I want to know too. Tell me why you did this. There's not enough time. Dude, you literally have all the time in the world. In place of saying it doesn't matter and all, just, just type it in one long paragraph. You won't believe me. You never believe me until it's too late. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Okay, we're gonna save Troy once more. I must concur. If you, I give you an answer, will you let me die? If you save me, I'll tell you things Troy doesn't know. Well, I'm gonna get to both of you anyway, so... Uh, the truth is, I've been here before. What is that supposed to mean? What? That didn't help my situation. Okay, you're staying alive again, you little piece of trash. Wait, is that literally all I have to do? 
Yeah, okay, that wasn't too complex. Uh, yeah, guys, I literally turned the light on. It was getting a little too dark, I think. I'm sorry about that. But I'm really getting into this game right now. So this is how it goes, is that I don't know how much longer I can do this. Okay, and while we're at... Uh, okay, there's nothing I can do now. I might as well tell you what I know. First things first, the reason I lit the fire... Come up! I... I didn't. I don't know who really did it, though. Christina was telling the truth. I don't know who killed the security guards either, so I, will, I have no idea what they do here in this company. They're full of crap. How did you know all that stuff then? How did you know the security code? You're probably not going to believe this. No, I know you're not going to believe this. Just spit it out already. Because I heard you read it out? The time, this time I did. I've been here before. I've been here five times before. The first time I was in my office doing my work, then suddenly the fire alarms went off. I went onto the chat to find out what was happening, and Leonard explained you would need a security code to save anyone. We all scrambled around looking for a profile before we finally found one. That's when I found out the code. Then you had to make decisions. Steve died, Christina died, Leonard died, I was the only one left. I had to keep going. I found a room called the Tempest Entrance. I went inside and there was a, blind, a bright light and suddenly, well, you won't believe this bit. Suddenly I was back before the fire, sitting in my office. What? Travel through time? I was so glad to hear you all alive, but none of you remembered what had happened. You all thought I was insane. But just like this time, because I knew the code, you thought I could save everyone. So once again, Steve, okay. I got to the end back. And it happened again, and again, and again. Five times it happened. Because I just want to die. Five times now. Oh. Wow, I had... Wow, this game just took a freaking turn. I wanted to th you to think I was evil. Who would save a murderer over an innocent life? Me, apparently. None of my plans to save the others have worked. Not one, I'm just tired. So now what? I've checked everywhere. All the doors are locked just like last time. Wait, you don't have to. The fire's contained now. Just wait there. Someone will come and find you. No, I can't let the loop end. I can't let the loop end until someone else survives. I've been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of this building should want to live. Happens to me. I have no idea. Does that mean there are five worlds now out there in space or time or wherever? I guess you're right. Alternative universe? But how is that possible? My guess is as good as yours. I guess so. so you won't Very funny. Wow, that freaking Troy ending is probably the most craziest one so far. Dude! Okay, so now do I... Yeah, now I save Lionel. And then both of them die. Wait, both of them die over here, don't, it? don't they? Wait. There is a way to make both of them die. Wait, what? That was so... Wait... I misread that, didn't I? Yeah, I probably did, wait... I made a mistake. Well, I guess he finally got what he wanted. Good, the man was a maniac. He's cost my company millions already. That's not what's important right now. And he killed four people? Thank you. It'll be six if you don't get out of here soon. Alright, alright, I found the stairs. Me too. Okay, I didn't mean to be so false before. Okay, uh. What do you mean by that? What I want from doing that? Okay, I suppose that makes sense. I'm sorry I'm not reading, I'm like really tired right now. It's strictly confidential. 
Does that sound like a slip of tongue to you, visitor? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Two can. Oh! Yeah, I was right. Both of them die. I was like so afraid there for a second that I made something wrong. Why? Why would we deserve to live when Steve and Troy had to die? See? Lionel's been a scumbag here. Well, either way, goodbye. Okay, let's just get this over with. And, can we just talk about how the characters here are dying either by drowning or being burned alive? Like, those two are one of my worst nightmares ever. That's another bad end. Okay, thank you. Let's just move on. Let's move on and get the final ending. I think. Yeah, the final ending, where I have to save Lionel. Let's skip this. Wait, what? Oh, I'm such an idiot, never mind. Wait, how do I do that? Oh, okay, we locked that. What? Okay, okay, I finally got it. Turn that off. I still don't get how the water works, like won't it just keep flowing? But let's not question it. Okay, Troy is gone. You made the right decision. Not so sure that was the right decision. Now you made a promise. Very well, a deal's a deal. What do you want to know? I want to know what Christina was, was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself has no idea what we do here. She was right about one thing though. Here at Phoenix Corporation we buy... Okay. Yeah, we already knew that. It's a front. Our true interest here is time travel. Oh my god. Dude. That is indeed what I said. And you expect me to believe that. Well, in another universe, I would have believed it. And here it is. Now, if you'll let me continue, we in fact have a full functional time machine in this facility. And it's at the entrance. But, the time machine we have constructed doesn't quite work like the ones you may see in the movies. As in, it does nothing because time travel isn't real? Ah, I like that. If you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me now. No, our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. What can it do? It can carry a person consciousness through time. That's what happened with Troy. Their thoughts, their personality, their likes and dislikes, their experience and their memories through time. It's your own loss. So if I was in for hopping this machine and going out into the future, what would actually happen? Your conscience would leave your body and effectively you would die. Wow, you die? At first, then after an hour, your consciousness would re-enter your body and you would come back to life not even realizing an hour had passed. That's impossible. We've done it successfully, people. Birds, dog. That's why he already knew the phrase with the bird. Oh my god, I'm making these connections right now. Anything with a brain can travel in our machine, so you can't go in it then. I meant Lionel. He can't go in this machine. But what use is that time travel? Your body would start to decompose if you went forward more than a few hours. That is true, we're still experimenting with methods of preserving the body that would allow the consciousness to later re-enter it. Currently, freezing seems promising. But this is not where our true interest lies. If a person travels forward through time, they can visit distant eras and the like, and, but they can still only live for the 80 years their body dictates. But if one, well, what, what if one was to travel 
backwards. I'm getting so flustered right now. You mean back to when they were younger? Exactly, they would retain their memories and experience gained over time, but they would have a younger body unless they were in an accident and died instantly. They could live forever. Whoa, whoa! Yes, with our machine, no one has to die. Wow, okay. That would be huge, but does it work? We believe so. That's a no. That's, that's a no. I have gone exactly the plan. However, in our testing, it didn't quite work so well going back. What happened? Our, our human test subject entered the machine, we activated it, and her consciousness left her body and... And unfortunately, it never came back. She died. That's Christina's mother! That's terrible. What went wrong? We have dedicated every resource we have available to discovering the cause of this problem. And you haven't worked it out? We think the machine might have worked. What? How can you say that when someone died? That's exactly what Christina said the other day. Uh, not the other day, what am I talking about? The other ending. It is an incredibly complicated concept, but I will explain it to you. First though, you have to do something for me. I have entered the code to unlock access to the rooms on the ground floor. I'm in the Tempest Room. Come meet me here. What? I ain't doing that. But why? Why can't you tell me now? He's about to kill me. He freaking killed me for sure. Is that all? The end is near. The final timeline has appeared. There's something else? There's a bonus? Hold up. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. In the control room. Wait. How did I end up here? Wow, what? You remember, you finally. Wow, what? Everything is coming together. You think I'm going to. He's telling the truth. Wow, you don't know what's going on here? Does anyone here have one of the security codes? RF, yeah, thank you for that. But did anyone find, oh, I, E-R-H-H -H in it. S-O-A-E. I confess that I found E-M-A-S, okay? Enter all the codes, all right, all right. Full access. You can now lock four fire doors at a time instead of one. No casualties expected? No one has to die. Wow! You're awesome. Okay, this is just too much, man. Do you remember what I told you before? By the yes! Okay. Correct so far. But going backwards, your body just, just decomposes. You're gone. You killed someone. That's the story as I told it. Yes, everything is coming together in this finale. The brain tumor. Eh, it's not the full truth. Well, that was a lie. Wow, I don't believe it. It's true. She's not dead? Wait. Is Lionel not the scumbag I thought he was? Is that what you're trying to tell me? He's not the scumbag I thought he was? 
this is going to be hard to explain. When we sent your mother back in time, she never returned to her body. However, there was not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. That's impossible. Correct. Anyway, we conducted many experiments and eventually came to one fascinating conclusion. When our subject had traveled forward through time, the future was not set, and so time would bend to accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things were not so simple. Become lost in the method of time and space, and the host. And one which existed at the time and had been sent back to, but it would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Yeah, I know, right? Our research would suggest, okay. Only one minute difference between them. Yeah. She was not alone. Uh, guys, this is way too much. You remember a time in which you let everyone die apart from it? Yeah, that's the one of the timelines. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait and do nothing as all of you died time and time again. Okay, I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to play the game with yourself. You're gonna have to play the game yourselves. I am so sorry right now. You're gonna have to play the game yourself. Like, over for that, the video is already long. Ugh, and I'm, try I'm not trying to hear all of this. What? I've been here before. What? Going back three years? And that I... Wow! It was just as I expected. That was the end. Oh my god, that game was too much. I'm probably way too long for me. I've been sitting here for probably like... Oh, sorry. For probably half an hour or 40 minutes trying to do this. But I'm glad we finished it. I'm glad we finished it, we got all of the endings, and we finished the game, we got like the final ending. Um, so the story, like I said guys, I'm, I'm skipping through the text video as it was already long enough. You guys can play the game for yourself and see what was being said word by word. I'll leave a link in the description and yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, like I said, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm gonna upload a second video today. Uh, I still have the computer to myself, so if I find another a game or I wanted to go back to another series, I'll probably upload the video. But for now, thank you guys uh, for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.